Finally! Hasbro! Oh my god! Finally! <clears throat> wow. Alright, so just to give you guys a quick look at the box, it's, it's your average Marvel Legends box. It's simple, there ain't too much going on, but I know a lot of you people that like to collect uh, Marvel Legends and keep them in the box. This is what it looks like. But we don't freaking do that here. The sculpt on this Venom is amazing. This figure is an all new sculpt and all the white lines and details over his body, they are sculpted. There is a lot of sculpt going on in this figure that is kind of hidden from Damn, the all black paint. But like I said, the figure is covered in sculpt from top to bottom. And then the proportions on this figure look really good. In my eyes, it matches the movie's proportions, the CGI model in the movie, pretty damn well. Now getting straight into his articulation, his head is on one of the new dumbbell joints, which is fantastic. So his head can look down, he can look up, not the most, but the way his eyes and head are shaped, he is technically kind of looking up pretty high. Being on the dumbbell joint, his head can also tilt side to side, and his head can rotate 360 degrees. His arms can go up <sighs> fairly high. They can go back all the way down to his sides. His arms can go up, back, and around. There are no butterfly joints. That is the one point of articulation I do wish this figure had. The arms do swivel. You do get double-jointed elbows. Fantastic range. And both the hands do go in and out. You get the ball joint in the upper torso. So he has all the motion that you would want. And then as you can see, there is a ab cut right there. Oh, damn. I was not expecting that. So both those amazing joints combine to give him amazing ab crunch. Bends back just as well. Rock side to side a lot. And it does rotate all the way around. He does get a <clears throat> very nice spread. Don't know why I'm making sound effects for this. He can kick up very high. He can kick back a little, but that's enough. You do get a thigh. Uh, wow, this is kind of slippery. Thigh swivel. You get double jointed knees. Function very well. His foot goes up about that much, down very far, and obviously, obviously, you get that nice ankle pivot. As for accessories, you don't get much, but you get the accessories you should get, two alternate heads and alternate hands. So, eh, I mean, it's fine. First, you get the main head with his tongue sticking out, which looks fantastic. Come on. It looks really good. The paint is pretty well done. Some of the teeth are kind of messed up with the paint. I don't know. I'll let it slide. The next head sculpt, again, is a head sculpt that had to be included with Venom. A little smiling, smirking head. Really happy how this turned out. Never really noticed how pointy his jaw is. Maybe it's just the figure, but I kind of do think his jaw is kind of pointy in the movie. And the first two pair of hands that you get on him in the package are two open, holding, grabbing hands. And then the two other hands you get with him are fists and pretty much the only two pairs of hands you really need for venom as for size comparisons as every single person wants to know how he scales with other figures in other lines maybe he should be about there and he looks really good with the tom hall and spider-man which for me is absolutely perfect because i'm going to be displaying these two with each other in hype for you know their inevitable movie crossover it's gonna happen I hope. He looks good though, his proportions do look accurate to me. He's tall, he's lanky, but he's also big, if that makes sense. This right here now is honestly my definitive Venom figure. I don't know if you can tell already, I'm gonna point it out anyways, but there's a uh, eh, little teaser for the next video. Make sure you subscribe to, uh, to get, uh, make sure you subscribe to get ready for that video. And real quick, cause it was kind of hard in that last shot to see how big these two were compared to each other. But this new movie Venom is just as tall as the Monster Venom bath, the deluxe Venom. And I didn't even know how weird this framing was. They're literally wrapping their tongues around each other. I feel like I don't even have to tell you guys this. 10 out of 10. So far as of right now, Hasbro is the only company that has made a movie Venom figure and they delivered on it. The figure is an all new sculpt and the sculpt is fantastic. His proportions match that to of in the movie. The paint on him is really good. That may not be saying much as he is pretty much an all black figure. The articulation is pretty freaking great. Yeah, butterfly joints would have been better and his head could look up a little bit more, but 
as it is, he can get into a lot of poses and most of the poses you would want Venom to get in. The accessories I do think are pretty great. You do get alternate hands and an alternate head. The only downside is yes, I know a lot of people, including myself, would have liked an Eddie Brock head. But we don't know. This could be just the beginning of the Venom movie line. And Venom 2 is going to be coming out soon and now we know Hasbro has a license. The next review is going to be of the new Carnage in the same wave. That figure's amazing. Get ready. As for the rest of the wave, I didn't buy the rest of the figures in the wave. I had to pay an absurd amount of money to get this Venom and that Carnage early. And honestly, they're the only two figures in the wave I really want. Once the rest of the wave comes out officially, if you guys still want me to review the rest of the wave, I may not be the first one to do it. But if you guys do want me to review the rest of the wave, I'll do it. Just be sure to leave a comment down below. By the way, while you're down there in the description, I'm going to also leave a link to my Instagram where I'll be posting more pictures of Venom here and Carnage and whatever new figures or new stuff I get. We get to a thousand followers on there. I'll give away this entire Venom wave to one of you guys. If you guys really like my reviews and you want to see more and more figure reviews back on the channel, give the video a like. And if you guys feel like supporting me and you want to be some of the first to see the Carnage review when it goes live, be sure to hit that bigger subscribe button down below. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys are having a good and fantastic day as always. Take care and I'll catch you guys in the Carnage review. Peace. Ah.